Shalom, Ka Hala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. When we look at the times of old, when we look throughout history, such as the times when Yahweh Shah walked upon the earth, and we look at the method of fishing, the method has not changed all the way up into these modern times, which that method is to cast a net out into the ocean or into the sea and to gather in your fish. And the book of Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24 tells us man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Also, the book of Job speaks about when men are in their deep sleep upon their bed, all right, when men are experiencing rapid eye movement, the Most High allows an angel to come and seal your mind with your next day's instruction, which means everything and every invention and every way and everything a man could do or say is preordained from the Most High, okay? And every thought that a man has and every action a man makes comes from the Most High. And that action of casting a net out into the sea or out into the ocean and to gather in fish, that um, idea comes from the Most High, okay? Even our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, speaks about the word uh, going forth, okay, in these end times and gathering uh, in that net, all right, good and bad. And the Most High have chosen um, that net, if you can receive it, to be the internet, to gather in his elect across the four winds of the earth. This is St. Matthew's chapter 13 and verse 47. It says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net. So this is Yahweh Shai giving the parable, all right, of the drag net. Okay? And Yahweh Shai says, again, the kingdom of heaven. What's the kingdom of heaven? This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right? It says, is likened unto a net. So the kingdom of heaven, Yahweh Shai compares unto a net. All right? It says, that was cast into the sea. And gathered of every kind. So, due to the internet, all right, which is the marvelous way that the Most High have chosen here in these end times, if you can receive it to gather in the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, that net, okay, or the truth has went upon that net, all right, and has been cast into the sea, all right, has been cast upon the four winds of the earth, all right, to gather in the elect, all right, out of out of all people. It says. And gather of every kind, all right? And what's every kind? Good and bad, okay? Um, verse 48, it says, Which, when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away, all right? And as the scriptures say here in verse 49, So shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked, from among the just. And these are the times that we're living in. All right. This word. All right. This true 100% doctrine. The apostles doctrine has went forth throughout the four winds of the earth. All right. In that net. All right. Which is uh, the internet. Okay. And we are living in the times where the good and the bad is being gathered. The book of Romans. Chapter 10. And verse 14 tells us, I'm going to start at 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And, and how did we get that name? All right. Through the internet. It says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? All right. And as the scripture says, uh, Roughly paraphrasing, our teachers would not be shoved off into a corner, roughly paraphrasing anymore, meaning we was going to see our teachers. And how do we see our teachers? On the Internet. OK, that's how we heard this word. OK, and we had to have faith 
for this word uh, to be a benefit unto us, all right? And those that didn't have the mixture of faith, as the scripture says, all right, this word was not a benefit unto them, which is the bad that the net or the word being put upon the net is gathering in, all right? And that good is that is that uh, good ground that the seed, which is the word, fell upon. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, which is the elect. Verse 15, it says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And the Most High have put the Spirit upon his men, which is the Spirit of truth, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, supping with these men. And these men are the apostles and the elders, and they are bringing us what? Um, glad tidings of good things. And that's what? The coming of a kingdom, the coming of our Savior, Yahweh Shai. And those that have faith, all right, that word that came across the internet has benefited us. And now we are bringing in fruit, meat for repentance, all right? And all of these things are done due to the internet, all right? Verse 16, it says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? And how did we have an opportunity to believe the report? Due to the internet. All right, and those once again that have not that gift of faith, the word is not a benefit unto them. The word didn't didn't uh, profit them. Verse seventeen it says, "So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High." See, so those that have faith, all right, the words are are are, are a profit unto them. It's a benefit unto them. All right, but those that don't have faith that heard this word across the internet, all right, they became what scoffers. Okay. Verse 18, it says, but I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. And verily means truly. So this is a true, true saying. Their sound went into all the earth and their words into the ends of the world. And how did this take place? And what are the words? The words of the apostles, which is the true understanding, the true knowledge all right, of the kingdom. Okay which begins with Yahweh Shai, coming back to Yahweh Shai to be cleansed in the sight of the Most High. And that word has went out, and that sound has went out to the ends of the earth, the four corners of the world, through the internet. All right? When you look into that word internet, um, into, all right, or in means into something, place, or thing. Uh, Tur goes back to uh, terrain or terrestrial means the earth and net means to what gather something so that's how the elect is being gathered by the marvelous if you can receive it will of the most high due to the internet um, the book of St. Matthews 24 and verse 14 it says and this gospel what gospel the coming of a kingdom, all right? This, these glad tidings, the coming of a savior, all right? Letting you know that uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, all right? Esau Edom is the red Hebrew Edomite of the King James Version. He is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, all right? And if we come back to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, we have a chance for salvation. That's this gospel. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom, which shall be set and placed upon earth in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And how did that happen? Via the internet, all right? By, as the apostles say, the internet doing the heavy lifting, all right? The apostles uh, being diligent in, in feeding the sheep. All right, as Yahweh Shah commanded, and, and allowing the, uh, the heavy lifting to be done by the internet. All right, it says, and then shall the end come. So, this is a major sign, a major prophecy that has been fulfilled to let us know that we are in the end of days. All right, because this word has went out. The Apostle Taha said he believed that the elect is already sealed. All right, so this word has went out and accomplished, all right, what the Most High. Wanted, wanted it to accomplish, which is to gather in the good seed. All right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19. 
and verse 1. And our King David also prophesied about the coming of the internet. Okay, if you can receive it. This is King David in Psalms 19 and verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. And that's speaking about uh, uh, the satellite that is out in, 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 the, in the heavens, okay? Because it, the sky is considered uh, um, uh, the heaven, and outer space is considered the heavens, all right? In the realm where our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and the Most High dwells, and the angels is the kingdom of heaven. So this is speaking about outer space. It says, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High. And how is the heavens declaring the glory of the Most High? By the Most High using um, the satellites, all right, to bring in his seed, all right, which is uh, his word going forth on the internet. It says, and the firmament show of his handiwork. Verse 2, day unto day utter of speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. And that's also the internet. At any time of day and any time of night, you can go and get this knowledge, all right, while it's still available. But pretty soon it's going to be cut off, all right? And any, it says, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard, and that's this knowledge, all right? In, in any country, all right, it's, it could be translated um, from what brothers are saying on these electronic epistles, all right, and at the street teachings to the language that the individual is receiving it in. Or, or speaks, all right? So there is no excuse, man. This word has went out, man. These, This is the end. Verse 4 says, their line is gone out through all the earth. Why is the scripture speaking about their line? Why does it, uh, or why does the world refer to when you get on the internet is what? You get online, okay? And, and the internet is a line, all right? That, that's the imaginary line, uh, should I say, or a radiated line that's Connected throughout the world, all right, from the satellite to your to your computer, all right, your laptop, your phone. It says their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. So the line is gone out. The connection to the internet. It, that's why they call it the World Wide Web, all right, because it's worldwide, all right. It says, and their words to the end of the world. Yeah, the World Wide Web, man. All right, has gone out through all the four corners of this planet. All right. It says, in them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. That's right. So due to this word going out over the internet, the Mosai is preparing uh, his elect to receive salvation in his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Those that the Mosai have given to Yahweh Shai, all right, in the past life and those that have came back in the reincarnation and have heard this word via the internet, and have woken up, all right, to the task at hand, which is to first come back to Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, all right, and, and to what? Prophesy unto the people, all right, and to believe, okay? And the Most High have used this vehicle in a marvelous fashion to do this, all right? This is the book of Job 39, which also speaks about the internet, if you can receive it. Job 39, and... I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by thy crib? And this is referring to what? The satellite. All right. Uh, uni means one, just like you have a, a unicycle. It, and a unicycle has what? One wheel. That's why it's called a unicycle. And a bike is called a, a, a bicycle, which because it has two wheels. So uni means one. And corn goes back to what? Power. All right, so it means what? One power. And that speaks of what? That tripod-like element on the front of that satellite dish. All right, what makes up the what? Unicorn. That's why they call it the unicorn. It says, will the unicorn be willing to serve thee? All right, and you could go online and find anything out. All right, you can go on uh, the internet, such as the YouTube, and find out all type of information. And, and the Most High also put the main information to salvation upon the internet, upon YouTube, all right? When the apostles and the elders, all right, in 2007 came upon the YouTube and put this truth uh, on the World Wide Web so it could go out and gather his elect, all right? And so so it has served us. It says, or abide by thy crib, and crib means what? Your house. People have the internet uh, right at their houses, man, 
a lot of satellite dishes. If you see uh, uh, on, on, on the side of people's houses, all right, what? To get that connection to that main satellite dish, all right, to receive the Internet. So the Internet is abiding or abiding by thy crib, okay? Verse 10, it says, Canst thou bind the unicorn with his bands? And why is the scripture using the word band? If you notice, in the Internet world, it's called what? Broadband, all right? In the furrows, or will he harrow the valleys after thee? Verse 11, will thou trust him because his strength is great, all right? And that strength goes back to what? Number one, the information. Okay? The internet has uh, somewhat of unlimited strength, which is unlimited uh, information. And also, uh, uh, the, the bars that the, uh, the internet carries to let you know, can you get a signal? All right? So it says, will thou trust, will thou trust him because his strength is great? Or will thou leave thy labor unto him? And that's right. Uh, will thou leave thou labor unto him? All right, and that's the apostles uh, starting in 2007, okay, putting this truth upon that net that was going to be cast out into the sea, okay? That's uh, uh, allowing the internet to do the heavy lifting, all right? That's leaving thy labor to him, okay? And also, you know, if brother's doing a sit down, if brother's uh, uh, doing uh, street teachings, all right, you can actually uh, type in Google and just paraphrase the scripture and it, and it will pop up. That's leaving your labor to him also. All right, it says, verse 12, would thy believe him that he will bring home thy seed? All right, and that's the elect, this great gathering that the Most High have put on display or have, have displayed here in these last times is allowing the internet, all right, something that a, a person would even think about here in these times that, or, or, or being a vehicle that the Most High would use to do a marvelous work, such as bringing in his elect. It says, Will thou believe him that he will bring home thy seed, which is the elect, and gather it into thy barns? And that's us coming back into the sheepfold, coming back up, up, up under this protective hedge, which is this true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And ultimately, ultimately that's going to be those chariots, man, in the ultimate time of destruction to America by the way of 200 million missiles, all right? And all of this marvelous work the most I chose, all right, in the form of the same pattern that people used in the ancient times and still use here in these modern times, which is to cast a net off into the sea or the, or the ocean to bring in the fish, all right? So the most I is marvelous, all right, and he is marvelous in his ways. You know, Lord willing, you know, I pray that, this made sense and that this was edifying. I just had this upon my spirit. Call Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom and DTA.